so uh, good evening everyone i mean uh, thank you for uh, uh, giving me the opportunity to talk uh, about this uh, topic which is very important and nowadays was uh, there in this uh, news channels about this folic acid and uh, uh, pregnancy the folic acid as we all know have been a very useful and uh, medicine for uh, pregnancy we uh, use folic acid usually for planned pregnancies usually it comes through you know you, you have to take folic acid for three months before you start your pregnancy uh, at around uh, 400 mcg per day and then when you get pregnant and you need to continue it at least up to another three months so six months of folic acid will give you protection against some of the very important congenital malformations which are life threatening like spina bifida some heart uh, diseases of, of congenital diseases of heart and also some of the iugrs i mean the smaller babies that are happening with the uh, uh, without the usage of uh, certain micronutrients folic acid is actually a vitamin b complex it is b9 as we say it and it gives protection from larger studies from the UK and from the uh, from uh, Belgium and China, it has been found that if you take folic acid regularly in and around your times of pregnancy, then the chances of uh, neural tube defects, the defects of the baby's spines are mitigated. And these are all life-threatening diseases. I mean, the spinal diseases, as we call it, and uh, they usually do not have here so what we are looking at our intact spinal uh, tracts and that is important for the lip movements for uh, baby's brain development so all these things uh, will happen if you are not taking folic acid seriously and you are not planning your pregnancy see in a in a in a nutshell you can say that whenever you are going somewhere, perhaps, uh, take an analogy, if you are going to a mountain, you are taking your jackets, your shoes, and your you know mountain gears, your uh, uh, hats, and so many other things, so don't feel cold. It's like if you are planning pregnancy, then obviously folic acid uh, is important, and there are other things which you need to understand along with folic acid also like if you are diabetic or if you are pre-diabetic you need to control your blood sugar and get your hba1c levels somewhere to the tune of around 5.5 5 to 6 so that your uh, uh, you know blood levels of sugar are controlled so all these things are going into your pre-pregnancy planning or pre-pregnancy planning your folic acid should be good your, your blood sugar control should be good uh, we smoking even the husband who is uh, you know uh, along with you should not be smoking so that uh, you know nothing untoward gets into the unborn baby so uh, very important that it is a very milder form of intervention that we use to see that folic acid uh, uh, as a tablet is used uh, so that you don't get into trouble of the, the, the babies grown with uh, spinal cord defects yeah, and which are not uh, much amenable to treatment. Some of this is also genetic and some of this is also, uh, you know, uh, some in some of the cases you have got a recurrent spinal cord diseases in the family. In some of the cases you've got some, uh, some communities like Hispanics they get uh, the Irish, they get these uh, spinal cord defects more than the others. So there is a genetic element to it also. But along with it, you, there are environmental factors and there are these, uh, you know, nutritional factors, these micronutrients, which goes in to develop the spinal cord and the brain. So if you are taking uh, folic acid regularly and you are planning your pregnancy and you are taking it from at least three months before when you are thinking that you will be pregnant, even if you are not falling pregnant and three months have passed, you have to take uh, uh, medicines uh, until you get pregnant. And then, at, as I said, at least up to uh, 12 weeks of pregnancy, that is three months of 
uh, uh, three months after you get pregnant, you can still continue folic acid, taking folic acid because it is also shown that it has got some benefit over, um, uh, you know, giving you a healthy baby with a normal uh, weight and size and all. We call it in uh, intrauterine growth restriction. So there is some studies that it prevents growth restrictions also. So that's why we want to continue it till term so that you can have a long term uh, usage of uh, folic acid. So uh, uh, it is a very important uh, medicine to take and you have to plan your pregnancy and take all these medicines so that you get uh, a healthy baby at the end of the day. If, if uh, at all you, you've got uh, any question, I mean, you can uh, ask me uh, through uh, WhatsApp uh, so that I will make an effort to answer them. Uh, unfortunately, the weather condition in uh, Kolkata, as we are calling it, is uh, very gloomy. The, there is uh, absolute rain and thunderstorms. That's why the questions uh, you will perhaps will get from from the whatsapp if you if you do it Uh, well, I get a question from Nisha, which says that, uh, hello, doctor, when I can take the folic acid tablet? I mean, as soon as you think that you can uh, and are willing to get pregnant, then perhaps you can start taking the folic acid tab tablets. I mean, before at least three months, I would think of uh, starting to uh, and from the from the day you get pregnant. That is the ideal time. But anyway, you can start from any time whatsoever. And uh, the thing is, like, uh, there are a lot of fortified foods also, and you get folic acid from a lot of foods also. So you get uh, 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 folic acid uh, in the food. Like, you get it is in fortified with cereals, uh, like the flour, and uh, from the breads, which are fortified, and also the green vegetables, the green leafy vegetables, uh, the spinach, the broccoli, and... Uh, cauliflower and uh, also from liver and uh, if, if you are non-veg then you from the uh, you know chicken liver or meat liver and also from the eggs and all so you get a lot of folic acid uh, from food also so even if you are taking food uh, properly i mean the healthy balanced food then you get a um, folic acid uh, from the food source but it is good to have supplements of folic acid so you are absolutely sure that you can uh, take folic acid and prevent uh, this spinal cord defect for the baby, which is a deadly condition. The, the other question which comes through is like whether, you know, once uh, someone is pregnant, then you would like to know whether you are suffering from this uh, spinal cord defect for the baby. I mean, once the you know three months period is gone, then you would know uh, when when you are suffering. Uh, the baby is suffering from poly folic acid deficiency along with uh, spinal cord defects. So mm, you need to do an early scan at around eleven to thirteen weeks. So all mothers who are pregnant have an early scan from 11 to 13 weeks to know certain facts which are very important one needs to know the uh, number of uh, uh, number of babies you have got whether you've got a twin pregnancy or a singleton pregnancy or triplet pregnancy something like that and also whether the babies are viable or not they are all doing all well and with their gestational age is appropriate like if you are thinking that you are six weeks pregnant the baby should be six weeks pregnant so 12 weeks and you, the baby should be 12 weeks so you know, know that and also the you know the sonar will see the spine to see whether they, there is any spinal cord defect. 
effect for the baby and that will be seeing at around 11 to 13 weeks your first scan so your first scan with your sonologist will show whether you've got any spinal cord defect so if if there is any spinal cord defect then obviously he or she the doctor will let you know and you can uh, you know if in the event that the the baby is unfortunately having a spinal cord defect and if it is a major defect like the defect in the brain or in the spine then you can still terminate at around 3 months 4 months uh, of pregnancy which is unfortunate but then at least you can prevent a deadly disease for the baby in that in those cases but uh, as i said that folic acid supplement is uh, will go at least uh, a long way to prevent uh, this uh, spinal cord uh, defects I get a, got a got a got a question from priyanka who says that uh, when should i start the folic acid you should start as soon as you know that you are pregnant uh, or before as i said if you, if you had the chance then start it before pregnancy 3 months but if you uh, come to know that you are pregnant then you start as soon as as it is possible and as i've said you start taking all those uh, vegetables and uh, and uh, side uh, i get a question from ayushi who says that what are the side effects of folic acid folic acid does not have any side effects because it's a multivitamin as you take the multivitamins uh, it is a vitamin b complex so it it can be safely taken <coughs> before and during pregnancy if you are asking me to give only one medicine to start with when you know that you are pregnant that one medicine will be folic acid if at all as i have said um, priti i am uh, repeating your question like how folic acid will help as i said that it will help to prevent some deadly spinal diseases for the baby the spinal cord defects the heart defects the brain defects uh, for Baby, for which the intervention, the operations are ready, and so the baby will will be safe if you folic acid. Yes, you can you can take folic acid and iron together, and uh, but uh, what we are practicing is to give folic acid before, as soon as we know that you are pregnant, and then we start a iron a little late, around uh, twelve weeks time, because. and uh, the iron uh, it will give you a lot of uh, you know throw ups like vomiting and nausea because iron iron is not always well tolerated so in the first 3 months of pregnancy you will automatically have vomiting and nausea so we delay the giving the iron uh, up till 12 weeks if there is no anemia uh yes uh, you uh, there is one question from madhuri who is asking whether you should keep uh, taking the folic acid for uh, you know uh, in after um, delivery i mean there is a little association that you may take folic acid along with the multivitamins because multivitamins will have only as like you know any other vitamin b complex because as i said folic acid is b complex so if you take multivitamins and uh, during the time of breastfeeding uh, when you have already passed your prime of pregnancy uh, there will be some amount of folic acid which will going which will be going along with folic acid so um, so that that is uh, i mean today's uh, issue i mean the the concern is very contemporary of folic acid as you see and you could Uh, i don't know whether you know but there has been a recent case in the uk where a 20 year old uh, girl uh, who was suffering from spina bifida uh, have sued her doctor uh, for not uh, resorting to folic acid uh, around 20 years back in the in the uk but i i don't know whether it is prudent to do that because uh, what was happening before 20 years nobody knows the ultrasound scans were not so developed and nowadays there are a lot of preventive measures that we can do if the baby is suffering from uh, spinal cord defects like spina bifida and heart heart ailments and all you can have interventions like these medicines that you take which will prevent folic folic acid will prevent as i said your uh, spinal cord defects which are big defects and the and the brain defects for the baby and also the congenital some of the congenital heart diseases uh, also 
i mean uh, so it is uh, as i as i started this uh, discussion i told that everything needs to be planned like if you are going to a place where the, the temperature will be minus something or zero degrees so you will be taking your overcoats your jackets and your um, you know head gears and so many other gloves and all uh, because that is your planning so even if you are thinking that pregnancy is a job to do then that needs planning as well if you are planning pregnancy well as i have said not only folic acid your sugar levels should be fine your hba1c which is one of the markers of sugar that should be okay and uh, also the uh, blood levels of uh, other 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 parameters like your thyroid and other things they should be fine and you should start taking your folic acid do not smoke do not uh, drink or uh, take any other extraneous medicines one thing i was uh, wanted to uh, uh, explain uh, is that if you are taking some of you may be taking anti epileptic medicines and some of you will may be taking some medicines for uh, you know psychiatric disorders the bipolar disorders of psychiatry those cases uh, some of those medicines are uh, will re require increased uh, doses of folic acid so if i'm talking about 400 mi microgram of folic acid per day but in those, those cases you have to uh, take at 10 times so at least 5 milligram of folic acid per day and, and you have to stop all those medicines which might cause these defects so you have to talk with the psychiatrist or with your neurologist beforehand to that i am trying to get pregnant and that's why uh, you just change my anti epileptic medicine the epilepsy medicines my anti psychotic medicine and bring it down to a single medicine which is least harmful i know that they will be required but use it in a single dose and in a minimal amount of uh, dose for that medicine so that needs to be addressed as well and of course the scans will will be done uh, to see whether the baby is suffering from any uh, congenital anomalies the scans are usually done at around 11 to 13 weeks and again they are done around 18 to 12 weeks 18 to 22 weeks in the second trimester so th those are the things that we have got nowadays as tools that we can restore our uh, baby and we can go ahead and have a healthy baby which is uh, which is a very good news for all of us okay so in that case we'll we'll end our program today and um, of course um, if there is any other queries in future and i am more than happy and uh, to answer your queries through baby chakra and uh, thanks baby chakra for giving us the opportunity to have a nice discussion uh, in the evening today thank you